What's up guys? Hey, it's been a busy day. We are uh, getting some handle material prep today. The boys are getting ready to run some stuff on the mill. Jarvisimo! <laughs> Jarvis is dialing in a fixture plate he just made. This is the cool thing about machines. He made the plate that he needs to work another product on the machine. Yeah. So the machine makes the things that you need to run the machines. That's good math. <laughs> That's some good math right there. It is. Yeah. So we just made this plate that all the Ultim sheets. Look at these. There's mounting holes all throughout this. This will make, what did you say, eight sets? Eight sets. Yeah. Eight sets of handles out of one sheet. So he's about to mount all this up here into these holes. And we're going to run some Ultim. Does it sound like it's a ultimate good time? Ultimate <laughs> hey, while he's getting that set up, let me show you this. We had all of the Tiger Woods sent out. Talking to the people of the internet, Mac. Some people of the internet. We sent all the wood out to be joined. What all they do? Joined and uh, planed. Planed. So these have all been joined and planed. Max gonna run some Tiger Wood handles. Not, not Tiger Woods handles. Tiger Wood handles. Did he win the Masters? We don't know. We don't watch golf. <laughs> Your dad jokes today. <laughs> Dude, I know like, they're strong. Is, it, that, <laughs> huh. is this a is this a test run? No. This is a real run. No, this is the controller that broke. That's so why we can't have nice things. Nope. So you're drilling out the small mounting holes now, right? Yeah, they're over and over. You don't want to get your little toe stuck in that one, do you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Or your big toe for that matter. Oh, uh, big toe, mate. Is that a aluminum? Plate? Uh, yeah. Aluminum plate? Yeah. T series aluminum. T series. T -series. I, don't I don't even know what that, that means. What they use for the Terminator. The Terminator. That's the Terminator aluminum, apparently. So we got one new cool project going on on the lathe. So you guys have heard me talk about it a little bit. Something coming out of phosphor bronze. So those, I think we're going to do that tumbled finish, tumbled, tumbled bronze. It'll be kind of like a brass pin and a stonewashed titanium kind of met in the middle. Something that we're doing as a run from here. The biggest hurdle, if you guys have ever had one of our pins that is the, like a, uh, the Pocket Pro Click EDC bolt action uh, dual side click, I think that's it. Uh, there's a piece inside of that that actually joins kind of all the main components of that pin together. And that's this little guy. And so this is the part that actually holds the end cone on where there's a collet at the end. And then this is actually how the, the grip of the pin and the body screw together. So if you see on Click EDC, it's the internal piece inside of this. Guys, but while we're at it, take a second. This is my personal Click EDC. This is the very first sample of Cerakote we ever did. An OD Green Click EDC. Uh, you guys know me as a Fountain EDC uh, lover. I do love my Fountain EDCs. I have multiple of them on my desk all the time. But this one, I kind of gone back to my, my first love a little bit over the last uh, few weeks, um, and uh, I've been really enjoying this. If you haven't checked out just the classic Click EDC, you are missing out. It is such a good pin. Uh, they kind of we do the silent click mechanism. A lot of people don't really know what the sonic click mechanism is about. People are like, I really want like the knock, you know, it's a click pin. I mean, which is fine, I understand that. There's a fidget element to that. But this is a mechanical movement with a collar that has a ball bearing that runs actually through a metal track. So it's a full mechanical movement. And once you get used to that, man, the old classic like Pilot G2, cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm kind of into this. So anyway, sorry, tangent over. So Josh has been taking his time and really trying to dial this guy in. This has been a labor of love, so something he's trying to get just right, not an easy task. 
He's been working on those here on the lathe, so he's actually got it loaded up with a big stick of titanium. Um, the insert inside piece is always titanium on those. And we actually just met with a local DLC applicator. So those pieces we always coat with DLC in a black. Um, it not only protects it a little bit, but it actually kind of adds um, kind of like a lubricant to it. So it's not as gritty. You know, if you have like something that's metal on metal, it never feels good. So that kind of adds, um, it's, it makes it a little bit smoother, a little, little uh, slicker. And so you don't get that grittiness that you would get with metal on metal. So Josh has been doing a really good job. He's almost there. I think he's almost to where he wants it to be. Um, he's actually taking a bunch of them and running them through the stone tumbler, um, trying to see kind of what, what process we need to do here um, on this batch. So, phosphor bronze pins are in the works. So I'm going to try to keep you guys updated on those. That's going to be one of our next big projects. Um, actually, here we go. Here is a rod of phosphor bronze. It's pretty cool to see that the lathe, that this guy right here, can take just a stick and turn it into a pin body. It's pretty amazing. The pin that we're specifically doing is four separate body pieces. Uh, there's an end cone, a grip, a main body, then an end cap. Um, and so all of that will be done on the lathe. People have been asking kind of what is next for the US shop. That is one of the projects we have in the works. We have a lot of projects in the works. Um, we're kind of just now getting on the cusp of production. And so uh, with this newer lookout and the Ultim pins of course are done, the Ultim, is available. We have some some on the store for sale. Uh, and this coming Monday, if you're a Kickstarter backer, a little update on when we're starting to ship those. The TI lookouts are done. We actually have had them done for a couple months. So, but we were waiting for the US ones to really be at a spot where we could launch it all together as one big category. And so, if you're a Kickstarter backer, you have until Sunday, if you have bought a TI version, to lock in your address. It's all we need, your address and your phone number, and we are gonna ship those starting Monday, okay? So, the TI Lookouts will be shipping Monday. They'll also go live um, on our website on Monday. They're available for pre-order right now, so you can go ahead and grab one if you want, but they won't ship till Monday, maybe Tuesday. Yep, almost done there. We're in the, in the home stretch on the old titanium version. Titanium. So me and Jarvis were just talking a minute ago about the Kickstarter. We had 155 people that bought Tigerwood, and then 144 or something like that of Ultim and 124 of G10. And if you add them all up, we've sold 423 US lookouts. And if you're not from Chattanooga, you won't understand why that's cool. It's because our area code is 423 here in Chattanooga and the East Tennessee area outside of Knoxville is 423, but we sold 423 US lookouts. I think that's cool. <laughs> it's a sign it was meant to be. I don't know. I love stupid stuff like that. So, 423. I think that's hilarious. So that means, I can't guarantee it, because anything I say in these vlogs is not set in stone. They know that. It could be. It might be. We sold 423, and that first batch was 443. So you batch two people, you may get a batch one. We'll have to wait and see. Don't hold me to that. If, we, if all of them are good... You're getting it. Batch perfect. one. They'll all be perfect. Be perfect. You never QC out anything. Yeah, because it's all perfect. It's perfect. Don't show the pile of QC. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if, they, if we have enough in this first batch, which I hope we will, if all of them turn out well, no one's waiting until August. You heard it here first. Don't hold me to it, though. Oh, we're holding. <laughs> no, he always holds me to everything. Those numbers are fresh, so I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. You want, you want to do the outro? No. <laughs> Chad, you want to do the outro? Chad wants to do the outro. I guess we're going to end the video here. <laughs> a couple updates for you. That's all we had today. We'll keep you guys in the loop. We'll talk to you next time. See ya. See ya. Cool. <laughs>